is our Myers lemon tree. As you can see, it did um, sustain some frost damage. Uh, however, um, most of the tree came through really good, and so did those weeds down in the bottom. Okay, next is the blueberries. I don't know if you can see these, but there are buds all over this blueberry tree. And then this one too. It's just like got buds all over the place. So you know spring is here. And damage um, that the freeze did um, to the green romaine. And you can tell this one's fixing the bolt too. But the frost uh, got to it. So some of the leaves are damaged. You can see those damaged leaves right there. Even though they're standing up, they're half frozen. And the ones that aren't standing up now are totally lost because they got frostbitten really bad. And uh, this one's fixing the bolt too, so look at that. And it's got some frost damage on the bottom. That one only has one leaf that's frost damaged, and this one only has one leaf. But I did want to show you something neat. Um, we've been talking about this. Um, this is our broccoli from last year that's growing here in the cinder block. And it has a broccoli on it now. <laughs> so I wanted to show that to you. It actually produced a broccoli. It's tiny looking. Came through the freeze. I don't know how it's going to do, but we'll see. Of course, our um, cabbage collars are doing okay. Um, we, we always need flowering plants to bring in the um, pollinators. Of course, our key lime is just busting with blooms. Here, you can't see them all. Some of them are so tiny, it's really hard to see them. Um, we do have two key limes on it now. One right here, and one in the middle of these blooms. If you can see it, if you can't, I've got a picture that I'm going to post on Facebook. Alright, our limequat tree is bursting with limequats, and they look like they're getting about ready to be picked because they're starting to turn yellow. And... We do need to do a video on how to eat a lime quiet, <laughs> and I promise we will do one. I want to show you another new addition to the family. Some red romaine. I don't know how it's going to do because it is starting to get warmer starting this week. We shouldn't have any more uh, freezing weather here in uh, Florida. So um, this is our new addition. I'm going to try growing these. They were half dead when I bought them. but I'm showing you the good side right now. <laughs> hey, and my husband's um, tomato seeds that he planted. We have three of them that actually came up. Um, I'm, I guess we're going to have to plant uh, some more seeds in the other holes because nothing came out of those. Alright, and this is just dirt. Okay, this is another new addition to the family. This is a new um, fig tree that we got. And this is a ICHA fig. Okay, and we got this on clearance at Lowe's for $3. So, hey, new addition to the family, and it's got little buds on it already. This is a lot of the batoni I pulled out of the garden beds this morning, and I still have a ton more to pull out. So, of course, over here, our rosemary is doing okay in the middle of this huge batoni patch. I keep calling it batoni. It's betony. <laughs> Sorry, it's betony. And I don't know if you noticed that some honeysuckle back there. I've got to get that honeysuckle out of this bed. It just I always have problems with honeysuckle in this bed. Of course my little uh, some of my little flowering plants froze but my strawberries look okay we're gonna get those planted and do a video about that too so for now this is our quick fast and furious garden update and I just want to say goodbye and happy farming bye bye